Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Moe, aka Swedish Whiskey Girl. Today we are back with my That Boutique Whiskey Company calendar and we're on day 19. How exciting. Yesterday we tried a Colila, which was nice. Looked it up, unfortunately I think it's sold out on Master Malt and it goes for £73 there. Maybe a little bit too much for what I would pay for it. Um, personally, if I... Peated whiskies are tricky. I'm quite picky when it comes to peated whiskies. If I'm going to spend a lot of money on a peated whisky, it needs to be amazing. It's uh, it's one of those things that I am quite picky about. The same with sherried whiskies. Very, very picky. <laughs> um, I mean, I think I'm just picky in general, but yes. Okay, let's move on to our drama of the day. See if I can find it. Yeah. It's over here and we're gonna open it. It's not a lot of ones to go with now. Just getting, just ruining this calendar more and more. And we're not gonna have a look at what it is. I'm gonna grab my glass and then we'll see what this might be. We'll hide it on the floor and we'll have a look on the nose. Like grass and pineapple on the nose straight away. Quite dense. Maybe a little bit minty, almost like a quite citrusy mojito. And it's definitely a note I recognise, but it's this kind of Oh, how to describe this? It's that grassy note that is the kind of dominant thing. And then there's some citrus in there and some tropical pineapple. It's quite damp in a way, like damp summer grass. Grassiness is a note that I think is very fascinating personally because I don't absolutely love a grassy note but a grassy element in a whiskey can be really lovely. Well let's have a taste. Stand around. Quite an interesting flavour. It's quite unique in its character. It does have that grassiness coming through <clears throat> and almost like a sour note. Like a sour fruit note. A little bit spicy but more like kind of lemongrass spicy maybe or like herb spicy instead of this kind of Christmas spice, spiciness. <laughs> a little bit of a gentle bitterness, the wood comes through, <clears throat> very warming on the palate. I feel like I have something that tickles in my throat, so apologies about that. It's probably like a speck of dust or something, but it's, um, it's a character, I would guess this is a scotch that you find in specific types of Scotch whiskey, but I can't seem to think of what group or category it would be because I don't, as far as I tried so far, I don't know if that sentence makes sense, but as far as of the whiskies I've tried so far, when I find that note, it doesn't seem to have any kind of consistency. It seems to be a little bit all over the place, but I need to think about it more when I try whiskies in the future that have these notes to kind of maybe group them together. But let's have a look. What can this be? It's a Macduff, an 11 year old Macduff. And it's batch six. Single malt Scotch whiskey and sits at 48% ABV. Nice. It is one of those fairly, well, I don't know how to describe that. It's Oh, 
has quite a nice um, mouthfeel to it actually, a little bit thicker. But it's one of those whiskies that I think has interesting flavours to it, but that might be flavours that some people will find easier to approach. And it's almost like it's one of those things that Might be a more of a neutral canvas. I don't think this one specifically is because it does have interesting layers to it. But I think if you use this in a blend, you could kind of use it as a base to kind of build in certain directions. Because it has this kind of lightness, the kind of citrus grassiness, this little nice kind of scotch character. And then you could develop it in different directions. But yeah, grassy and citrusy. I think that's how I would describe this if I had to just use two words. Not unpleasant at all, but it's one of those that I'm thinking... It's quite a nice juicy dram to just sit and sip. But the grassiness is one of those things that I either... I'm in a mood where I like it or where I'm not too sure. Today I like it, but I notice it and kind of can't make my mind off if it's one of those things that I'm intrigued by or one of those things that if that wasn't in the whiskey would be more interesting. I'm a little bit undecided. But of course, I'd love to hear what you think. Have you tried Macduff? Have you tried this one? This, uh, what did I say it was? 11 year old and 48% expression? Or is there another Macduff that is your favourite, perhaps? I mean, I'll get back to you tomorrow and just see how much this would be. If you're curious about it, I've put the link to it in the description below if I can find it. And yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, I hope you're having a lovely December. Slangera, skål!